M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. On the left, we've got the new Alinko DJX100. Now, it was announced a couple of years ago, but it's now going to be available worldwide. It has been in Japan for a couple of years. It receives DMR, D Star, Fusion, Airband, Marine Band. GMRS, it's VHF, UHF. Remember, it's the receiver. The screen changes color and it does have built-in GPS. I've never used this device, but you can see it's unique in how it looks. On the right-hand side, we have the fantastic Uniden SDS100. There's a base station version of this, uh, which is also, you know, fabulous to look at. And straight away, you're drawn by what a lovely looking receiver this is. And I have used this one and it takes a lot of learning and I'm still learning all the time. It uses the Sentinel software. Plus, you've got other companies doing software like uh, ProScan and what's the other big one? Oh, I'll think of them in a minute. So this has looked as a sort of trunk scanner, the SDS 100. Now it's not something I'm into, but what I do know is with the SDS 100, you put in your, if you're in the USA or Canada, you put in your zip code, it loads all the different departments up and it is structured in that way. It's sort of departments and channels and you've got to use one really to understand, but it's like a three layered interface on the screen. Yes, you can just type in the frequency, type in airband, type in hand, and it receives, um, with the latest sort of um, software upgrade, it does receive DMR and it's NXDN as well. And you can see here listed, it's got close core. So what's close core? Well, exactly what it says. If, if some, a strong signal is near me and I've got close core turned on, I'll hear it. It's, it's, it's that simple. And there's different settings within that. So you can cust completely customize the display on the SDS 100. The new Alinko, you can change the colors. I'm not sure how many colors. It is USB-C charging. The Uniden is not USB-C. I've got a very small adapter on mine, which I just plug in, just something like that. Just plug it in and I can have USB-C on my SDS 100. And USB connectivity says it. Yes, and it is, but you know, you can interface both these devices with your PC. Now the interesting one is record playback. So Uniden definitely does that. I think that the Linko probably does have record, I think, but I haven't used it. So we need to get the full instruction manual and have a closer look. But yes, D star, DMR, time slot, CT, CSS, all that kind of stuff. You're not gonna have any problem. It's as good as your antenna. It's quite a wide device. The SDS 100 is a taller device where the Elinco looks wider. I do think it will be a good seller because it's unique looking and it covers a wide range of bands, uh, which is advertised as, I'll put the link in here with all the info on the, on the new device, but it's 30 to 470 megahertz. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.